Hi. This is the one thing I'm not going to miss. This lift. We're leaving Belgrade. I'm so sad. Not sad about that lift though. That is like the sketchiest lift of all time. You'd get in it and it literally drops like 30 centimetres. It does. It's definitely one of those old school because this is a very old building even though our apartment was very nice. But did, did we get one? Yeah, we got one. Yeah, cool. Six minutes. So we're just on our way to the airport now and Uber is not accepted here which we sort of found out a couple of days before we came but luckily this one saved us. This is called Cargo and it literally works the exact same way. But we've got an enormous travel day today. We've only actually got two flights but the actual day itself, the layover that we've got in London. The layover is longer than the two flights combined. <laughs> it's going to be a big day. We're flying Air Serbia today. What are you? I have no like my expectations are very neutral. I have Me no too. Idea. And I feel like every time we go to look at an Air Serbia flight, it's always really expensive. So it's not the budget like. No, it's really not. Uh, Wiz and Ryanair and all that kind of thing. It's. Uh, I wonder if they feed us. That's all I think about. Yeah. So well, we should talk about. So we've got a three-hour flight. Was our first one. We're heading back to London. So that's flight number one. I think I worked out. I tried to do it really quickly in my head. We've got two flights, two taxis, three airport lounges. Uh, and about like uh, 15 hours or 18 hours or something is what today's uh, going to take. You put it like that. So <laughs> We've come into our first airport lounge at the moment and this place is so chilled. There is literally just spirits everywhere and you can just like walk up and just like pour yourself with just whatever you want. No one really gives a shit to be honest. It's Serbia for you. It's eh? come as you go. <laughs> Wait, I just realized that I say where we were going. We're going to yes, London going first to London. and we'll talk about our next letter. Serbia isn't exactly premium, but it wasn't bad. No, except for the fact that your seat was inoperable. Yeah, I couldn't. You didn't really need it though, did you? No, we didn't get any food, but they did give like snacks and a cup uh, and a bottle of water, which is a nice touch, which is more than what you get with the budget, guys. The seat thing wouldn't come down. The tray table. Yeah. So we are not staying in London. We've got an eight-hour layover in Heathrow Airport, which is where we've just got to now. Eight-hour layover. So we have to go and get our bags, go through. We have to go to the landside lounge and then we've got to switch terminals and then go through and go to another lounge. So I'm glad that we've got, we can't really complain. No, no complaints, it's just, it's just going to be a lot of work. Well I have to say, credit where it's due. The last time that we threw, we don't often fly through Heathrow because we're generally on budget airlines. The last time we flew through Heathrow, we literally spent an hour and a half yeah. in the like Passport immigration. Control. Just recently they've introduced a new thing where I think it's 11 or 12 new countries, including New Zealand, can use the e-passport. We were like 12 seconds. It was so fast. It was crazy good. The most exciting thing that happened was we saw this, um, she looked to be intoxicated. This <laughs> poor girl, she was like, her legs were not, were not working, they were not listening to her brain. And she got trapped inside the, uh, yeah. the station thing. She oh, took, man. she took too long. Anyway, we're jumping. We're in the we're in the lounge now. We've just had some food. We've got ourselves some beers. Yeah. Basics, right? But because we're health conscious, sparkling water. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. We're gonna not drink after we do that, but yeah. <laughs> uh, this is definitely an upgrade on this one. So we're lucky because this is a um, this is a landside one. Mm. So normally you only get to go to them once you've already checked in and been through security. So we've got landside here. Then we have to catch a bus to go to the other terminal, then we're going to check in for our next flight with British Airways, and then we get to go to another lounge on that side, but we should say where we're going. I was just about to say, wrap it up. Let's <laughs> you start see. talking, so, I'll drink. Okay, so we are on our way to Scotland, and not the Scotland that you would probably expect. Mm. It is so far north, it's past the Isle of Skye, and it's 
like these incredible beaches that I've never seen before. If you if you instantly went Scotland, then honestly stick stick with us because from what we've been told, this is going to be absolutely stunning. So we're taking a tour again with Rabbies, which you might recall. If you haven't seen that series, you should totally go back and watch it. We did a five or six day trip with them in um, Cornwall and Devon throughout England, and then another two or three day trip in Northern Ireland. We love the tours that they offer, so we're super excited to do a three day trip up and around what is supposed to be some of the best beaches in Europe. So it's kind of news to us, to be fair. We maybe should have known that, but we're excited <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, but you just, you just pressed print and it came out. Yeah, I just. I just push print. There's nothing on here. Okay. It does say free train. Yeah. So, I guess we just go and hope for the best. We thought we were going to catch a bus. All our research suggested a bus was the best way, and then we just walking down and we saw a sign that said terminals two, three, and five via free train transfer. Literally pressed one button, two tickets came out, and we'll try our luck. It's weird. We did all this research, thinking, all right, we've got the nail, we've nailed it down. We know we need to be at bus stop seven. We know where we need to be, and then we just follow a sign, and it's like, ah, well, that was easy. We think. Yeah. We think. <laughs> Taking the train actually really was probably the easiest option. We didn't actually realize at the time, but it was like pouring with rain, which is probably no surprises by, by London standards at all, um, which we can, we can see now. But we just thought we'd wing the train, and it was actually, it turned out to be the best option. I realized that we actually forgot to mention we're actually flying to, so we're flying to Inverness, not to like uh, Edinburgh or Glasgow, which are the, the normal spots that may be probably the most, um, the most popular airports in Scotland. So. And Manessa is further north, which is where I think then we're assuming we can drive, jump on a ferry, and then that's what gets us over to the islands once we actually start the tour. So we have no idea what to expect. Here's Harry and Alex. Well, mate, thanks for pulling so promptly. We're ready to get underway. Just wait for the last year bags to get loaded. Once that's done, we'll be getting underway. We thought we were being super efficient. We thought that we were first on the flight. But we got on, basically found our seats, sat down, and they were like, right, uh, that's boarding complete. There's like nobody. <laughs> There's no one in the seat next to us, which is, this never happens to us. We always try and do the trick where you book the one and then this mm, never works. Never works. So we booked two together and we've got a, an extra for a whole hour flight. <laughs> <laughs> There's only like 13 people on this flight yeah, though. It's not many. Beautiful apartment you have. Hey. <laughs> Welcome to my grandma's house. <laughs> this is brilliant. Look at the poster and everything. It literally feels like a grandma's house. <laughs> Welcome to Inverness. It's very homely. It is, isn't it? Um, How beautiful coming in, though. It was amazing coming in, and it's so bright. It's like 10, well, almost 11 o'clock now, but mm. when we got in it, just after 10. It was, honestly, it felt like five o'clock in the afternoon. Apparently, I liked it. I know, it's really nice. Apparently the sun doesn't go down until like about 11 and then comes back up again at about 3 a.m. because we're just, we're so far north. We say that we like it now, but if it wakes us up in the morning, we're gonna be like, oh. No way, there must be some old, some curtains, <laughs> some, old to go, some, some curtains to go to this place. So that is the end oh, of an 18 hour travel day. I think the, day. The, the lounges just saves us so massively on days like this. It's still the best money we ever spent Definitely. on any travels. I'm but glad that we got that. I'm, I'm so amped for what's coming. I know, we'll start new the tour country tomorrow. for us. Yeah, it's going to be so cool. So check back in a, in a couple of days because tomorrow we start the tour. 